Hi, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I'm going to do a video overview of the Pinata Alcohol Inks by Jacquard. So just like the name implies, these are alcohol-based inks and um, they are good for almost any service you can think of. I've done a few swatches just so that you can see. Here I have used them on a glossy piece of paper. I'm kind of showing you the sheen. Now this black is um, acrylic paint, so you can stamp or paint on top of alcohol inks with another medium. It's really nice when they're alcohol-based because that means you can mix it with acrylic and with um, water-based media and nothing is gonna kind of interact with each other. Here is a piece of Shrinky Dink that I have done and I think I love that modeling, that modeling color. Here is a piece of normal cardstock. Now you'll see that when you add it, when you use alcohol inks just on plain cardstock, it just soaks right in and you don't get much of the colors playing around with each other. But you can also use it on vellum because it dries so quickly. That's what one of the, it's the blessing and curse of alcohol inks. It dries fast. This is a metal charm. There you can see it. It was pewter color and I just tinted it blue by sponging a little bit of alcohol ink on top. Here we have a bottle cap. And one of the things we like about alcohol inks too is they dry quickly and they also keep that nice kind of shiny texture. Um, here's a piece of canvas. Again, it just kind of soaked in. It's pretty, but doesn't do a whole lot for you. This is a style stone. Remember those style stones from a while back? But what I'm trying to tell you is that you can use it on any non-porous surface. Here are some plain uh, sparkly rhinestones that I tinted blue because I didn't want clear. Um, so it's nice because it gives you a lot of options. Here even is uh, a pendant I made using alcohol inks on foils, metallic foils, and then applying it to polymer clay. You can use alcohol inks right in polymer clay as well. Here I applied some alcohol inks to a piece of resin paper. So this was tissue paper that was coated with resin. And another piece of glossy cardstock. So um, I'm gonna just give you a little demo here too. I've got a couple of colors to play with. And these come in droppers. So um, you, kind of, you kind of have to either come up with a way of smooshing it around or, or come up with some ways. Now you probably have seen things like this. Um, you can use these. You can use cut and dry foam. You can dry, use cut and dry felt. Uh, you can also cut up um, cotton batting. Works really good. If you have an old kid's block, you glue some Velcro onto the block. Sticks like a ding dong. Super cheap. You don't have to pay for you know the expensive ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some inks onto the paper like this. And then I'm going to drop some another color. I'm going to try and work quickly because I told you these things set up fast. Okay. And then you can kind of just sponge them and move them around. Now there's also a product called Claro Extender. And it's basically, you know, the alcohol base without the pigment in it. Or you can use some handy dandy alcohol in a spray bottle. This is rubbing alcohol. And I like to use the minty fresh flavor, but notice how it reactivates it and then you can move it around a little better. So if you are working on something and it just dries too quickly, you can just spritz it and kind of keep working on it. Notice how the first drops I put down are not moving anymore because they've already soaked into the paper. Um, here's another little handy dandy tip. If you have your Claro extender, um, put it in a spray bottle so that you can use it. I'm going to use a little bit of the Blanco just so you can see too. You can also apply it right onto the little foamy mat thing here. Here, I'll use a different color. Ooh, I'm going to get all fancy here for a minute. Go like this. Give it a spritz or a few drops of Claro, depending on how you want to do. And then I can just start working that in around as well. The more extender or alcohol you use, the lighter your color is going to be. This is obviously a really like rich, deep, but notice how I'm starting to go over here and it's just, it's a lot lighter and milder. 
Here's another tip. You can also take this and um, stamp it on, use this now as a stamp pad on a rubber stamp, like so. Ta-da! I can do that again. And you are going to get a lot of color. If you keep reactivating it with your Claro extender or with your alcohol ink, you're going to find that there is a lot of color on these pads. Like, you know, that is going to last a while. So, anyway, let me pick this up and kind of show you what I've got going on. Woo! Wow, that color is so vibrant and intense. You can also do the ever popular spray and drip technique if you use an alcohol link. So, again, what we, oop, I'm kind of off screen, sorry. But we, what we like about this is it's not really over until you want it to be over. Um, and on paper, it once you let it dry completely, it, it mostly sets up. On things like uh, the bottle cap, I would suggest if it's ever going to come in contact with anything alcohol-based again, um, that might be a good time for you to go ahead and spray it with some like Krylon Triple Thick or something, just to make sure that that is all really sealed in there. See how I added more alcohol and it just kind of, now I'm just moving it back around. And the thing about the alcohol-based inks is that they don't ever really soak in. So what you're doing is you're just constantly moving them around on top of the surface. So in any event, um, I love them. I especially love them for things like, you know, the polymer clay um, with the foils and uh, to tint things like ribbons and vellum. Um, I mean, really, even things that are one color, you can just add a little bit to tone it down. And then that'll dry. You see, you still get you still get a little bit of that, you know, heart underneath thing, but you've just toned it way down. So, anyways, I really enjoy um, the Pinata alcohol inks. I think they're a really great product.